panicking because four of our best basketball players are leaving for the NBA, worried that we aren't a basketball school anymore, terrified that everyone is going to leave and we just won't have a team next year, fear not. I'm Matt Newton, here to bring you a guide to surviving half of our basketball team leaving for the NBA. Okay, yes. It sucks for us that Ty Jerome, DeAndre Hunter, Kyle Guy, and Mamadi Diakite have decided to leave school early and declare for the NBA draft. But seriously, stop being so selfish. They want us a national title, and these guys have a chance of living out their dreams of playing in the NBA. Ty said it best himself. Since I was a little kid, uh, I was dreaming about playing in the NBA. It's like the only reason I'm in this position today is because Coach Bennett and my teammates, and they prepared me. They prepared me to get to this point. Like it or not, this is the right decision for all of these guys, and here's why. The new NBA draft rules allow players to declare for the draft, sign with an agent, go through several aspects of the scouting and draft process, including getting an evaluation from the NBA Undergraduate Advisory Committee, and still return to school as long as they withdraw by May 29th. There's literally no downside for each of these guys to go through this process and hear feedback before making their ultimate decision. They achieved the goal they came to UVA to accomplish, to win a national championship. And their draft stock pretty much can't get any higher than what it is now, fresh off of incredible performances in March and April for all four of these guys. Just face it, it's time for them to secure the bag. It's unlikely that Ty or Dre come back to school, as Ty is a projected first round pick, and Dre could go as high as top five. But Kyle and Mamadi could still return. And even if they don't, we need to be okay with that. All four of these guys have given so much to Virginia, and we will remember not that they left, but how they left, as champions. And besides, y'all are disrespecting the Tony Bennett factor. In 2017, a year after losing Malcolm Brogdon and the rest of the outstanding class of 2016, three players transferred out of Virginia and UVA basketball legend London Prentiss graduated. How did Tony Bennett manage what was supposed to be a rebuilding year? Oh, just by going 31-3 and and winning the ACC regular season and tournament title. Guys, we're gonna be fine. Having Tony Bennett on the sideline means that the potential for any UVA team is through the roof. And don't sleep on next year's team. Kihei Clark, Jay Huff, and Braxton Key are back and ready to defend the title. Plus, Tony is having the opposite of a championship hangover, beating out UNC and signing forward Justin McCoy to add to a recruiting class that already includes two four-star recruits in Caden Shedrick and Casey Morsell, who could contribute right away. Throw in the rumor that some highly desired transfers seem to have a lot of interest in UVA, and things are looking A-OK. -okay. So everybody, calm down. The future of the UVA basketball program is as bright as ever.